What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with more Emerge NYC gameplay and today we're back on the Brooklyn map. We're doing another viewer request this time for uh, Tower Ladder 120 on the Brooklyn map. So that's what we're going to be doing. We've got them stationed at uh, Ladder uh, the ladder 123 and uh, Engine 234 there stationed. So I don't know of a reason why they would be there, but that's where they're at. So we're just going to run some calls out of here and uh, we'll go ahead and see about uh, what we can get. All right, guys, just got our first call. It's going to be for a fire in a body shop. It is a uh, working fire. It's 1075, so we're going to have our uh, full complement going uh, to the scene. Four engines and three ladders. I don't think the fourth engine's on the way yet, but uh, we'll see about that shortly. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop in 120, and we'll head that way. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. Uh, Snowpocalypse is upon us in the state of Texas right now. It, it has finally arrived, it's snowing. So uh, hopefully it won't be too much, but we'll have to wait and see. Here we go, all right, we rolling. Now I told one of our users, he said we need more air horn action. So absolutely, we'll get in a ton of uh, air horn action here. I think the biggest thing about doing all this is the fact that I'm having to like do the horn and the sirens and everything with my left hand on the keyboard and then try to steer it. Try to steer everything with, oh, whoa, nice, 222, two, two. wow. You know what, I can do that too, dude. Man, he came out of nowhere. All right, uh, where are we gonna go? Oh man, it's definitely, yeah, it's fully involved. It's going, she's going. All right, let's, um, let's park here. We'll get her position here and uh, we'll start getting in some tower ladder action. Some tower ladder. Back her up just a hair. Get the turntable on the corner. Nice, there we go. All right, we're here, we're on the scene and we're gonna start putting some fires out. Let's hop out real fast. And we'll get our truck set up. Anyway, thank you guys for joining. I really do appreciate it, man. It's just, y'all are just absolutely the best community. I, I can't say that enough. It really, it boggles my mind how, um, how the channel is done. And, uh, you know, people watching how the channel is growing and stuff like that. And, and it boggles my mind that we have like several, like multiple firefighters um that are viewers that they basically they do this for a job and then they watch me do this too which is like so incredibly like i don't know what to say i think that's like one of the biggest compliments ever uh that they do that and then they want to watch this and i really do appreciate it it's it's, it's absolutely awesome like i said I, I i really i have no words for it Anyway, with that said, let's get started putting our uh, let's get started putting our fire out. We'll get uh, a supply started with 214, and uh, I think what we'll do is we'll relay to 120, and then we'll use him to put water on the fire. It's been a minute since uh, since we've been in Brooklyn, right? We've done a lot in Manhattan, though. I will say I have really enjoyed Manhattan here lately. Like that's. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I haven't played it that much, but I've enjoyed it. Uh, the gameplay we've had lately, and man, oh, what is this? Bo what? Two, three, four. <laughs> go have to. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. I, <laughs> we won't even go there. Let's just ignore that. Let's uh, let's keep setting up over here. I, I was thinking for a split second, I thought, you know what? Let's role play that out. But I'm not. We're not. <laughs> we're not doing anything with that. We're just gonna let it be. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you never know what you're going to see in game. I mean, that's uh, true, but it keeps it interesting. I will say that, you know, I always try to find the positive in everything and <laughs> it definitely, it keeps it interesting in game. You never know what you're seeing. I mean, we basically uh, a while back had, uh, you know, two fire trucks humping each other. So on the scene. So, I mean, you, you never know what you're gonna see. All right, uh, Brady, I think everything is set up. Hopefully 120 works. I don't know if I've ever, uh, yeah, nice, okay. All right, let's do all the things here. Got this light post right here in the way, though. 
one of those considerations you don't think about. You don't you don't think about this stuff. Now I had several people talk about uh, fire equipment placement, and there's like some basics to it, but uh, it, it, it's like I said, there's a lot of variables. There's a lot that goes in behind this, apart from just being like, well, this truck should park here every time, and this one should do this, and you know all that stuff. So. Which I figured there was a lot more to it than just uh, being cut and dry. Alright, so there we go. Getting our water going here. We'll let her do her thing. Uh, we're going to try to hit this roof a little bit, probably. Alright, let's go out. And we'll hit this roof up. And we should be pretty close to getting this under control. This shouldn't be too terribly bad. It's starting to spread. You can see it spreading on the roof, though. Yeah, damn, we're going to have to do some air up here. Um, I think we're kind of getting it. At least it looks like. I can't hardly tell because of the smoke. Like, I don't know. We're just... Kind of spraying blindly here. Uh, we may have to grab an attack line. We may have to. All right, uh, ignore this. We're going to hop down off the truck, and hopefully it's going to keep doing its thing while we do that. Uh, no, it won't. They used to do that. I know I've been on uh, units that have done that, that like when you leave it, they keep spraying, and it's not not doing its thing um, okay well either way either way the fire is spreading throughout just about it's it's probably about like what a third to half involved so not too terribly bad go back to 214 we'll get an attack line all right we'll get you pulled down here and Get some extra. I just, I can't pre-pull anymore, guys. It's like every time I try to pre-pull line off the truck, it, it bugs out and it looks like spaghetti. It's going everywhere. So we just pull it by hand. It's just easier for me to like do it this way and not go through all the headache and the bugs and stuff. So we're still waiting on a new update, the AI update. Um, you know, I'm fine with it being delayed and taking longer than they anticipated because uh you know i would rather it be rock solid airtight waterproof bug free whatever the case may be um you know instead of them rushing to release something and then having a bunch of issues because they don't need that they don't need that right now they need to uh, they need to release a solid update and you know if it takes a minute it takes a minute i'm not i'm not going to sweat it i got plenty of other things to do uh, other games to play. I've been playing Car Mechanic Simulator, the demo. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on that one. I really enjoyed uh, what little bit I played on it. It was a lot of fun, and uh, the demo is just enough to kind of get your feet wet and uh, leave you wanting more. So, I think I'm gonna do that. All right, Brady. Brady's doing it. He's on the truck, but he's uh, doing the hand line today. He's doing it all. Oh man, someone's RV's on uh, on fire too. Oh, it is spraying water. Oh, it's only spraying when I okay. I see what's going on now. That's uh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. When I do the hand line, it does the aerial as well. The uh, the tower ladder. It used to could be that. You could be in a tower ladder on a ladder. Maybe it still works on ladders. I'm not sure, but you could be on a ladder, one of the aerials, and you could spray water. And if you hopped up off the truck while you were spraying water, it would just keep doing its thing. And so you could still be uh, putting water on the fire uh, and not have anyone up there. You know, you could do other things. But uh, I I don't know if that's broke or uh, or why. It's been a while since I've done it the correct way, but I know I've done that before. All right, let's keep getting the <laughs> we're synchronized with the uh, with the tower ladder. That's funny. I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit. Now, someone did chime in and, and say that uh, ladder 75, the default ladder 75 on the Manhattan map, is broke. 
because if you remember on the last uh was it the last video i was doing we couldn't get we couldn't get any water off of it we couldn't do any kind of anything with water so supposedly it's broke the spare works and uh till the ladder 175 on this map works but uh regular 75 does not work it, it is broke hopefully that'll be fixed at some point all right guys i think we're good i think we've done it uh looks like the roof might be all right okay let's uh let's drop this down right here and i think what we're going to do is jump on one two three and uh, oh, we'll go take a peek at the roof real fast. Oh, well, damn, we got that tree right there. These are things you don't think about. Like, I could imagine setting up ladder, like doing aerial operations in New York City is probably such a huge pain in the ass sometimes because the narrow streets and uh, cars parked and trees and power lines and like everything under the sun is like trying to prevent you from doing your job. I did see uh, a video, it's been a while back from the Magisterium, he had one where uh, the tower ladder was actually brushing some power lines. It was, it was quite interesting to see the sparks and the stuff going on. Alright, let's let's uh, let's get you up here and I think we're good. Okay, there we go. Sweet, let's hop down. We'll grab a pike and just take it up there with us and uh, we'll take a peek and we should be able to call it. We should be good here. Still have lots of people asking about the Discord, guys. I, I'm going to try my best to get that done. I can't say when. I There's been like a few evenings where I had all intentions of sitting down and getting Discord back to active and doing a video and like announcing it and all that. And I got away from the computer and like I never got I never got sat back down uh, before I went to bed. So uh, hopefully sooner than later, but I can't say for certain when. All right. Uh, it's good up here. Yeah, there's a lot of roof damage, but... Uh, we're good. All right, so uh, we're going to call this one clear, and uh, we'll head back to the station and see if we can grab another call. All right, guys, we're back on uh, ladder 120, and uh, we're responding to a water leak. Yes, a water leak. It always uh, blows my mind that the uh, New York Fire Department responds to water leaks. Like I, I purely thought that was like a plumber problem. But uh, evidently not. They go to uh, they go to water leaks, and there's actual like video evidence of it on uh, on YouTube. Like the first time I, I played this game and I saw the water leak calls, I was like, "What? Are you kidding me? No, no." So of course I had to go consult Google or not Google, YouTube. I had to consult YouTube to see if this is true. And there are water leak calls on YouTube, so. That's what we're doing. Something really different. I haven't done a water leak in a long time. So I don't know why 120 would be down here doing it. But it is nighttime, so that's cool. Nighttime is the right time, especially for flashing lights. So that is what we're doing. We're the only one responding. And it should be like right up here somewhere. All right, let's see. What do we have? Uh, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be in this building somewhere. In fact, I wanna say I hear it. Okay, we don't have access down here. The doors are locked. Those people are asleep. There's like, there's no leak down here, buddy. Go look somewhere else. Uh, no access there. I hear it, I hear the water, but Uh, and the, one of the videos I saw the water leak like the FDNY had specialized pumps and stuff like that as well that uh, they were using like uh, one of the leaks I saw the basement was flooded for out oh, there it is yes someone's uh, pipes are done busted in fact spur had to go outside and cut the sprinkler system off uh, yesterday and uh, we're having to drip all our faucets in the house because it's going to get down in the negatives tonight hopefully it may be is it may be zero it may be zero. It could be a little lower than that. It could be like negative four. All right. Well, uh, we got that one taken care of. Good job, Mr. Brady. So I think what we'll do is we'll hop in and we'll get one more really quick little call on 120. 
All right, we're just leaving off our water call and we just got uh, called for a car accident. So we're going to head to that. Or uh, I should say a car fire, actually. Not an accident, but a car fire. So we're going to head to that. And uh, see what we can do. I don't think much of anything on uh, car fires and stuff like that, other than maybe like traffic control and protection and stuff, but uh, let's see, it should be right up here. There it is. Oh, she's going. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. All right, um, we'll block off a little bit. We'll do that. We want 234 to uh, have room to get by, too. All right, let's jump on 234. We'll bring him. We have to have a little engine action as well, too. All right, 234, ready to go. Nice. Man, it looks good. It looks so good at, uh, at nighttime with the lights. I just, I really dig the lights on this game. I think it's one of the things that they absolutely got right. Looks amazing. Uh, where do we need to go? Looks like uh, down, over, and down, maybe? Crap, I tabbed out. There we go. You can hardly see. Um, okay, I think I'm straight now. We'll go this way. All right, now I'm good. And we'll hang this left. No, stop. Stop, dude, stop. Stop this traffic. <laughs> They're so bad. And I think we go down one and then back to the right, maybe. I hope so. Where is a firefighter that does not know his uh, area that well? Uh, yeah, okay. Now we need a hydrants. We need a hydrant, and I think we're going to have to grab one up here by the uh, tower ladder. I see that one, but that's it. That's all I've got, so. All right, we'll grab it. It'll be fine. All right, Mr. Williams, let's do our thing. Have a wrench here. Get our supply line. And get our hydrant on. Sweet. All right, let's drop that and we'll get an attack. We'll pull you down the street and we should be good to go. Come on, you can do it. Pull. There are lights going here. There we go. Man, those things are bright. Keep going, keep going. Is that the moon down here? If that's the, wow, that thing is huge. <laughs> it looks like a planet. That moon is huge. I've never noticed that. Looks like, uh, it looks like something from another world, maybe. Oh man, we gotta, I wonder if this can spread through the van. That would be cool if it would spread to uh, the other vehicles. We need, we need more spreading fires. We need that uh, pressure to like protect exposures and stuff like that, you know? Because uh, right now you don't really have to worry about it. There's a few fires that can spread, but for the most part, they all pretty much stay in their, uh, their little area of operation, so. All right, let's get that going. Lines charged. Kneel down and let's hit it. A little first person action here, maybe. We don't do that very often. There's just something so incredibly satisfying about putting water on a fire. I've, I've always loved it. We used to have big, uh, when I lived, when I was a kid, we lived on a farm, right? I grew up on a farm. We used to do uh, burns. Uh, on some of our fields and stuff like that, uh, you know, to uh, control weeds and things of that nature, and uh, uh, control burns basically. And so, for the most part, uh, we just 
did a fire break and let it do its thing right but uh we would have certain areas that we would protect with water like garden hoses and stuff like that and i was always the garden hose guy and i loved it <laughs> i absolutely loved it i was like chomping at the bit to start putting the fire out even though it wasn't really ever doing anything because usually we would do it like late at night on a, a really calm still night you know uh, high humidity so you didn't have anything to worry about like it wasn't going to do nothing and <laughs> but i was always chomping at the bit put water on the fire all right i think i think we've about got it put a little bit more water on it just for good measure but oh what was that about it just kicked me out uh well okay we get a nice overview of the scene here guys there you go Looking pretty nice there. Look at the lights. They just look so good. All right, let's jump back on our uh, on our engine and try this again. I don't know why it booted me. It just booted me off. Um, and I'm holding on to the line as well. We have, I think we lost our nozzle. We did. Yes, we did. All right, well, the fire's out anyway, so I'm going to call this good. It's just got some steam coming off of it. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one. You guys are awesome. Love all of you. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, keep the viewer comp, you know, viewer request uh, coming. I absolutely love those. Those have given me so many good ideas, and uh, I'll be honest, if it hadn't have been for the viewer request, I probably wouldn't be doing as much Emerge NYC as I have been because uh you know after a while it tends to get a little stole a little stale and old and stuff like that so anyway thank you all and with that said we'll catch you on the streets of brooklyn next time peace